Hey, what's up? And welcome back to Buy Stuffy Nicks. So today's gonna be a very interesting video. We're gonna be testing TikTok makeup hacks as my makeup routine. Just a full face of TikTok makeup hacks. Little spoiler alert, there are some ridiculously awful, horrible fails coming up. You're not even gonna wanna see it, but you're also gonna wanna see it. This is my second in this series. I already did a testing TikTok life hacks video, which was really, really fun. I'll link that up there so you can check that out. Also, if you're interested and let's get started on to makeup less stuffy and this journey to come. Let's go. Hello there. Okay, so we're gonna get started with the makeup in just a second, but first, we gotta do something about this beauty blender. Do you see how disgusting this is? That is just unsanitary. So thankfully I came across a TikTok hack of how to clean your beauty blender in a microwave, question mark. It's supposed to get it really clean, kill off all the bacteria. I don't know, kind of scared of it, but we're gonna test it out. That's what we're here for today. Let's do it. Okay, so basically what you're supposed to do is put your beauty blender in a microwave safe bowl, throw in a whole bunch of dish soap, and then fill it up with cold water so that the sponge is submerged. Throw that whole thing in the microwave, set it for a minute. Once you take it out, it's gonna be really hot, so don't burn yourself. You gonna like hit it with some cold water to cool it down. Then you're just gonna like massage the sponge a bit under warm water to get out all the makeup, and after doing this a few times, it's supposed to come out clean. And now for the big reveal, here it is. I'd say it cleaned it like decently. There's still makeup stuck at the bottom, stuck at the top, and I massaged this like a bunch of times, just wasn't coming off. This isn't a hack that I'm gonna incorporate into my routine. Cleaning it with regular like makeup cleanser works better and doesn't involve a microwave. <laughs> I don't know if that was the safest thing to do. But we tried it, you know, we gave it a shot. So tally-wise, we got one hack tried and one hack failed. Moving on. Okay, so this next hack kind of scares me a little bit. It's our first makeup hack and it's about filling in brows. I've already got big brows and I usually don't do that much to them, but today we're doing the complete opposite. We are filling in with some dark brown eyeshadow. We're gonna make a big mess out of things and hopefully it gives a good result at the end. Okay, so what the hack says to do is to use a eyeshadow that matches your eyebrows and just fill it in like crazy, like make a big old mess. This is specifically why I'm doing it before doing foundation. And then once you have just a giant mess, you take a makeup wipe and you just clean up the edges and then you're supposed to have a cute brow. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. Got my makeup wipes ready, let's do it. I'm gonna use this dark brown right here called Good Is Gone from the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And girl, I'm scared. Ugh. Here we go. Oh my God. Really getting it in there. This is honestly, oh my God, this is disturbing. I just looked at myself. Ah. Next brow. I can't deal. Oh my God, we gotta get this off. What a start to the video. Okay, I got my makeup wipe ready and I'm gonna clean this up. Wish me luck. Try and give myself a little arch there. Ooh, ooh, we got a sharp line there. That is a freaking bold brow. I don't like this at all. Let's clean the other side. Why is this one so much darker? Do you see that? Like this one looks kind of maybe okay. Ugh. Gotta even this out. I can't look at myself. This is so bad. What do I do? I think I just have to call it a fail and take the whole thing off because this, this is not good. Not good at all. Okay, filling in brows with eyeshadow hack. Fail! Do not try this at all. Oh, good to see you again. <laughs> I mean, it definitely works. It, it does fill in like sparse areas, but geez, not naturally. <sighs> there we go. That was honestly petrifying. I'm sorry you guys had to watch that. Okay, moving on. How do we even continue after that? But we're gonna try. Okay, so this next hack I'm actually really excited to try out. And it's basically, they say that switching around the order of your base products will help your foundation to go on smoother and last longer and be creaseless and all that good stuff. So we're gonna try it, because all that sounds really good. So the usual order would be moisturizer, primer, foundation, powder, setting spray. They switch it all around and say that you gotta do moisturizer, powder, setting spray, primer, then foundation. It's kind of a little interesting, but we're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully better than the brows. Okay, so first up at the base, they say moisturizer. So I'm gonna do my under eye moisturizer and my face moisturizer. All the products that I'm using, I'll have listed down below if you're interested. Okay, all moisturized. And now they said the next step is to take a translucent powder and just kind of lightly powder your face. I don't know, I'm just following what they're telling me to do. Okay, this feels very backwards and wrong. Now you're supposed to set it with setting spray. So let's do that. Okay. Oh 
guts all over my shirt. Ooh. Now they say to prime your face, so I'm going to prime my entire face. And we're actually gonna bring in an additional hack at this point because I saw another TikTok that said in your oily prone areas to use an eyeshadow primer. I sometimes get a little oily here and a little here and a little here. So we're gonna use eyeshadow primer in those areas. Okay, so that's the face primer, and now let's go in with the eyeshadow primer in the oil tone areas. Okay, there we go. I think that this is like the most unsure I felt while filming a video. I'm just like, what's going on? Okay, now final step of this little reverse base thing is foundation. I usually use BB cream every day, but we're gonna go for a foundation today because that's what they say in the TikTok, and I wanna follow it the best I can. So let's do some foundation. Get to test out that clean beauty blender. Okay, so foundation's done. Um, it went on pretty smoothly. I thought it was gonna go on like feeling a lot more weird because it was on top of powder. So I was expecting it to look cakier and feel like drier. It feels fine, it looks fine, but I don't know if it's so much better than my normal routine, like the normal order that I would switch to this. But I guess we'll see because I'm also not gonna be setting this with powder as I always do. So if this doesn't crease and I don't need powder on top of it, that'd be cool. That would be game changing. So whether this passed or failed, we will hold off and see later. And onto the under eyes, cause they are looking dark. So of course in a TikTok makeup hacks video, we can't just do our under eyes like normal. We gotta do something interesting. So we are gonna be color correcting today using red lipstick. Yay. I feel like this video is a punishment for something. What did I do to deserve this? So basically the theory behind this is that you wanna cancel out the dark tones with the red and then you put the concealer on top and it just magically looks good. I feel like I'm gonna have red under eyes, but we'll see. I guess I'm gonna put this on my finger cause I don't wanna put it directly on my face. Eh, I don't wanna do this. Okay. Well, that that's red all right. So far, looking like I got punched in the eye. The things I'm doing to my face in this video. Is it weird that I'm not hating this? Kind of. Okay, let's blend it out and see what happens. Got the lipstick blended out. We got that nice pink glow. And now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. Hopefully you no longer see the pink coming through. If you're looking for like an actual normal concealer routine, I have a video that I'll link right there and you can check that out and see me when I'm doing not super weird makeup. Here we go. I'm scared to look. Ooh. Okay. I still see the pink though. Okay, so it's all blended out and I've got some thoughts. I don't know if you can tell with the lighting on here, but I can still kind of see a pinkish hue throughout the whole thing. And even worse than that, I still see some blue, like some darkness coming through. It didn't even color correct. Dude, what is that? It doesn't look as awful as I was expecting it to by like, you know, putting lipstick all over my under eyes, but it didn't really deliver on what it said it would. So another fail. I really wanted some of these weird ones to work. Like I wanted to, eyeshadow my brows every day and lipstick my under eyes, but it's not happening. Looks like today is the first and last time for these upsetting. Okay, moving on. Okay, next up, I feel good about this one. I feel like this could work because it's not that crazy. It is drawing on freckles using brow gel. Yeah. I actually draw on freckles every single day using brow pens, like a little felt tip brow pen. So this isn't too big of a stretch, but I have never tried it with brow gel and a brush, so let's try it. I feel like the way that this one can go wrong is it just becomes a total mess. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Oh my God, imagine I have just like smeared brow gel everywhere. I'm not ready for that. Mm. Ugh, it's dark, it's, it's very dark, okay. Adding it in definitely softens it a little bit. Do you see how dark that's going on? I'm leaving it sitting a little longer and then I'm gonna try and pat it to see how that goes. Um, it's already set. Shoot. Shoot, it's really dark. It doesn't want to blend out at all. I think it looks okay on camera, but in person it's pretty like, ooh, dark. Don't like this method. There's just no blending this. Again, shameless plug, I have a freckles routine, my real freckles routine, and I'll post that up there. If you're gonna learn how to do freckles in a much more natural way. Okay, I think I'm stopping. No, I'm not. Okay, now I'm stopping. Okay, so the freckles with brow gel TikTok makeup hack. I'm gonna give it like a 50-50 because it does look all right. It just, it's hard to work with. It just, it sets really fast and there's no like going back and kind of patting to make it look more natural. Working with the felt tip brow pens, much easier, but this works. 
it works. Okay, going forward. <laughs> okay, next up we've got a little blush hack and I kind of already do this one. The whole trend of wearing blush not only on your cheeks but also on your nose has been a thing for a while and I have been doing it but I never like really pushed it to the extreme. But since it's a TikTok thing, it's an e-girl look, we're gonna go for it today. Just all the blush. Let's grab that blush brush and get to work. That was a lot of blush, okay. I want the nose. Oh my god, it really looks like middle of winter and I got stuck outside and my nose froze over, but in a cute way. <laughs> can you even see it on camera? You can in real life. Okay, so I guess we're gonna roll with this like pink look. It's cute, it's working, I'm okay with this. It's not really like a hack, but the TikTok makeup thing, I'll give it a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, so next up is very interesting. Got the blush done, but we still need to contour, so let's contour. We are gonna do the contouring your nose with a fork, TikTok, make a pack. And I'm very nervous. I don't actually have cream contour because I don't contour, so I'm just gonna use bronzer, like powder bronzer, and let's hope that works. Ugh, I'm nervous. Okay, I've got my cool tone bronzer here. And what you're supposed to do is line up the fork. This is so weird. Line up the fork on your nose and this acts as kind of like a contour guide. The fork kind of gives you like three lines now. You're supposed to do the outer two with bronzer or contour and then the middle one with highlighter. It's supposed to give you that like snatched contoured look. We'll see what it does. I don't really know how to do this. I don't think it's gonna reach my nose. It's not gonna reach my nose. Like that, that's not touching my nose at all. The fork is too flat, my nose goes inward. Dude, well, how does this work? Like definitely you could do the highlighter down the middle, but how am I supposed to, unless I like move the fork like that? I feel like the contour is way too on the side. This doesn't feel right. Okay, shifting it to the other side. We'll see what it does. I don't think that this is gonna be good at all. And now right down the center line, let's highlight. That feels right, because it's flat on your nose. Okay, I'm so nervous to take this fork away. <sighs> Let's do it. <gasps> the is on my nose. This isn't really bad. <sighs> is this worse than the brows? How am I gonna fix this? Oh my God. I knew it was wrong. I knew it was wrong. I followed through anyway, just to try it out. Okay, this... <sighs> We're gonna blend the heck out of this thing. Oh my lord. Just before we even try to fix this, this is a fail. So we're all clear on that. This is a fail. This is literally like as bad as it could have gone. We're gonna make this work. We're gonna make this work. Oh my god. Come on, blend. How did that ever work for someone? Let's blend in the highlight a bit. Highlight was not bad at all. Highlight was good. Okay, wow, I'm shocked, but I was able to kind of blend it all away, but it definitely did not work to give me a nice contour at all. Okay, so that wasn't fun, but that's the contour, the nose contour that we're stuck with, which is non-existent. Um, but now let's move on to highlighting the cheeks. Yeah. Okay, so I saw a TikTok on how to highlight your cheeks with lip balm or Vaseline, something like that supposed to give you a cute glow. I'm honestly just scared to try anything at this point, but we're already too far in. Let's do it. It looks pink, but it's colorless. We take a little bit of this lip balm and give ourselves a cute glow. Ooh, dang, did we find one that works? Throw a little bit, cute as well. Very cute. Okay, I feel like that kinda worked out pretty well. It feels sticky, so I don't know if I'd wanna do this like every day. We can actually just touch up my nose, a little bit on the bridge of the nose. It definitely adds like a little subtle, natural glow to the face. And I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. It works. Give it a thumbs up. Okay, Um. next up, I feel like I just wanna fix my brows because we have nothing going on with them because clearly that first hack did not work, so let me just comb them out and put a little bit of brow gel 
nothing fancy. Let's do it though. Okay, that looks okay. Doesn't look like it did before. My God, jeez. Scarred for life in that one. Ugh, the things we do for YouTube. <laughs> okay, so now we're up to eyeshadow and I didn't find a specific like TikTok makeup hack for eyeshadow that I wanted to do, but I found a hack for kind of the end of eyeshadow. What the heck is the end of eyeshadow? <laughs> Basically what the hack is, is you do your eyeshadow like normal, blown out though at the edges, not really caring what it looks like on the sides. And then you go back in with some concealer on the edge of like a card and you just clean up the edge like that, just like done with that sound effect, of course. I feel like that's just gonna kind of remove the freckles and that little highlighter and everything we've got going on there. But we're gonna try it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna like skip through doing my eyeshadow because it's nothing interesting and then we'll meet up at the end to conceal the edge. See you then. Okay, so here's the little eyeshadow look that I threw together. I purposely kept the edges nice and messy to see if this hack is gonna work to clean it up, to give us that nice sharp edge that we want. Okay, so I'm gonna take some Tarte Shape Tape because this matches my skin tone pretty well. You don't wanna do like a lighter concealer because then you're just gonna have weird looking, it still might be weird looking. So I'm just gonna kind of paint the concealer right here at the edge, not exactly sure. This is the right way to do it. Let's try this out. Okay, I'm gonna kind of line up how I want the line to be. I'm gonna place it down and kind of just drag. Oh, okay. It made a nice sharp line. It brought the concealer under it a little bit. Ooh, maybe. Let's blend it out and see what happens. How many times have these hacks like failed horribly and I'm just like, ah, let's blend it out to fix it. I might have cut it off a little too high. My mistake. Let's try the other side. It is it? Spread. Mm -hmm. Is that what it's supposed to be doing? I don't think so. Again, like, my face isn't flat. Faces are not flat, so I don't know why a flat card is supposed to drag it out straight and smooth. Someone explain that to me. Time to blend. I feel like it's just so much easier to do your eyeshadow with like a piece of tape marking that line there rather than doing this after and it just it, it cuts out the eyeshadow it's such like a weird place now it doesn't look nice at all i don't like it dang i'm upset with this one it just kind of makes it look like <laughs> should i just leave it no i gotta fix it this video is really taking a toll on me okay whatever there's the eyeshadow like really, I was just so naive. Like, oh my God, I'm gonna find some really cool hacks today. I'm just gonna have a whole new routine after this video. This is a learning experience for sure. Okay, next up, lashes. Yeah. All right, so for lashes, I'm gonna start off by curling them because that's what I always do. Okay, so there we go, we've got them nice and curled. Now onto the hack part of the lashes. I saw two of them. The first one, apparently, according to the TikTok, priming your lashes with concealer is supposed to give you thicker lashes. I think it's gonna give us messy lashes, but let's try it anyway. Okay, I don't really wanna put like the wand directly on my lashes. I guess I'll try with my fingers first. We are priming our lashes with concealer today, everyone. This better give me the most magically thick lashes. Kind of doubt it will, but. <laughs> Now that we've sufficiently erased our lashes from existence, let's do mascara. <laughs> so mascara also has a little bit of a hack and this one seems fine. It doesn't seem like it could go wrong in any way. I shouldn't speak too soon, but this one feels very tame compared to the others. Basically, it's just a different way of applying your mascara. So instead of root to tip like usual, this girl says you do it in three stages. First, you coat the tips of your lashes, then you coat the like middles of your lashes and then third step is you go down from the root and brush through it all, gets her clumps and looks like long and thick and beautiful. We'll see. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the tips of our lashes only. Just the very tops. I like really have to keep stopping myself from not just doing it the normal way, going all the way down to the root. Okay, I think we got all the tips of our lashes. Very strange. So now for coat two, we're gonna do the middles of the lashes and you just kind of do the middles and then go up right through the tips again. I feel like they're just getting clumpy and separated. <laughs> That's the complete opposite. I don't know. I feel like it's like clumping sections together. That's coat two. We're like getting rid of the concealer at least, so it's helping. Now coat three is we go from the roots up all the way through the lashes and hopefully this will just pull it all together and we'll look cute again. But definitely third coat helped things, but 
mm, I don't know if I would continue doing this technique. It's so much mascara on there. It's just, it looks like thick and the sections like clump together. I don't know. Mm, I don't know if I'm feeling this one. Let's do the other eye. Okay. I see the appeal of this technique, this makeup hack on this eye. I think now I kind of got the hang of it. It took me much longer on this eye. Maybe the mascara was like kind of like drying too much in between the coats. This eye, this eye's looking cute. Okay, I take it back. I am calling this hack a win. We have a successful hack. And I'm just gonna finish it off with some lower lash mascara as normal. Okay, it's cute. I like it. I dig it. We're good. Oh, we never actually like discussed the concealer on the lashes to prime them. Um, did it work? Mm, honestly, I don't know. I can't see that it's like much thicker. So no on the concealer, sorry. Okay, on to lips. Okay, so we have two lip hacks and both of them could be very cool. They also could not be. We'll see. The first one is really, really cool. It's how to put on lipstick with just a subtle change to make your lips look bigger. I mean, there's so many TikTok makeup hacks of how to overline your lips to make them look bigger. And really, like, I'm already starting with big lips. If I get into, like, the overlining, I'm just gonna look like a clown. And I'm not trying to do that today. I accidentally did a little bit, but that's not the goal. Subtle. Subtle is the key. So let's hack the lipstick to get that pouting fillers Kylie look that we all want. So pouty. Okay, so basically what you're supposed to do is put on your lipstick completely like normal and then and then comes the change. So let me just put on the lipstick first. Okay, there we go. We've got lipstick on nice and normal. And now here comes the hack. What you're supposed to do is take the lipstick and you're supposed to just go over your cupid's bow a little bit. Kind of like that area right there in the center where the lip dips a little bit. The TikTok says to just draw right over that, give you that like rounded look. It's supposed to make your top lip look thicker and fuller. It's supposed to be a magical hack. So let's try it. I'm nervous. That doesn't look right. You can see it. Okay, let's blend it. I'm kind of using my lower lip to just blend it out, blot it a little bit. I think that helped. I still feel like super weird having a little extra lipstick there, but it doesn't look horrible anymore. I'm just very aware of it. Okay, so part two of this making your lips look bigger hack is actually what you do with your lip gloss after. You're supposed to put your lip gloss in the inner part of your lips, like on the lower lip and upper lip, but just the inner section. So we're gonna do that, but this is actually where hack number two for lips comes in. We're gonna make our own little lip gloss, yeah. Okay, so to make our little custom DIY lip gloss, you need eyeshadow and a lip balm. So I got that right here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna just take your lip balm and just get a whole bunch on the back of your hand like this mm -hmm. that's probably enough and then you're gonna go into your eyeshadow and you're gonna pick any color you want i'm gonna use the glittery shadow that i did on my lid so it's kind of like a matching look so i'm gonna go into this like sparkly silvery color called vermeer picked some up on my finger and then i'm just gonna mix it together with the lip balm and this is gonna make a little lip gloss custom to match the eyeshadow it's pretty. Okay, so now I've got it on my finger and I'm just gonna put it on the inner part of my lower lip, inner part of my upper lip to kind of complete this bigger lips thing. My lips really look very big. Okay, let's do it. I made a cute lip gloss. Whoa, okay. Dang, this is like really like a lot for me. I think it worked. I think that my lips definitely have like a bigger, fuller look than they usually do. It's. It's a look, all right, it's a look. Okay, so the lips were actually my last two hacks, but now we gotta go back, we gotta do some checks. Okay, so let's check out the base, see how it's looking. I don't see creasing, I don't see fading or anything like that. I mean, and the foundation's been on a while with the weird base underneath without powder to set it. So it is holding up a lot better than I thought. Like, it looks good. It definitely looks good. As for the eyeshadow primer in the oily areas to prevent oil, that one I'm gonna call a fail because I see some shininess coming through on my cheeks, so it didn't really help. So that one I would not recommend. I think that's probably all the ones that I had to like go back and kind of check in on. Overall, the look is pretty good. Things were really going wrong along the way. I thought we'd end up with like a crazy, crazy clown face and it's not bad. I would go out in this look. Not many of the hacks. I, I don't know if really any of them I'm gonna carry out into my like, daily routine, 
but maybe sometimes I'll switch around the order of my base. I mean, the foundation did go on really smooth over it. I don't think I'm ever gonna be repeating the eyeshadow in the brows, or the concealer on the eyelashes, or the freaking contour with a fork on my nose. None of that is ever coming back. That was a one-time deal. You saw it today, folks, and that's it. Never again. With all that said, I had a lot of fun testing out these hacks. Fun and like fear. It, it was a lot of emotions today. We went through it together. We made it out to the other side. Thank you to TikTok for all the fun inspiration today. And thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, definitely scroll down and leave a big like on this video. It'll really help me out. It'll get the video out to other people so they can share in this like fun mess that we made today. If there are other like TikTok related videos that you want me to make, definitely let me know down in the comments. I love doing this type of stuff, so let me know. And of course, if you had fun, you can totally join the Bicep Phoenix fam. We'd love to have you just scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, and ring the notification bell right next to it to get notifications on your phone every time I post a video. You'll be the first one to see it. You can leave the first like, leave the first comment, just make my day, and you'll never miss a video. So it's like good for you too. And one final thank you to you guys for always watching, supporting. We just hit 5,000 subscribers which like literally blows my mind. You guys are the best. Thank you so, so, so much. I really appreciate it. And as always, this was by Stephanie Nicks. Bye.